kindly attention. Now we are going to know about the charging process of SMF sealed maintenance free VRL A voltage regulator lead est battery. Now we are going to know about the charging process of SMF sealed maintenance free VRL A voltage regulator lead est battery. So we have taken a battery bank of 10 nos battery for this purpose. The capacity of these batteries are 45 RH and 12 volt. We have to connect the batteries in series for charging process. Here see these batteries are connected in series. For series connection we have to connect the batteries with each other to complete the circuit through jumper wire. One end of the battery should be connected with one end of another battery. We have to connect negative terminal of one battery with positive terminal of another battery and like so on. We are using some instrument during charging process. This digital multimeter is one of them. The digital multimeter helps us to measure the voltage of each battery and the voltage of battery bank. Here we are going to measure the OCV open circuit voltage of this battery. The OCV of this battery is showing 13.55 volt in multimeter screen. Commonly the OCV of a SMF battery is 13.20 volt to 13.80 volt. We use the instrument named digital clamp meter slash amp meter to measure the charging current. Also, we come to know that how much current has been draining during this process. When we put a positive terminal wire in the clamp, it shows the figure in the screen of amp meter as how much current is draining. Now it is showing 1 amp as the charging current. It is required pay attention during the charging process. We have to put equal A H amp hour battery at one time. If we are going to charge the 45 A H battery here, it should be all batteries are 45 A H. We keep in mind to connect the batteries in series during charging process. It is requiring maintain minimum gap of 10 millimeters from one battery to another battery for proper ventilation. It helps to maintain the temperature of batteries during charging time. The charging current should be 6 to 7 percent of the battery AHC. It means if we are going to charge the 45 AH battery, the charging current should be 2.7 amp to 3.15 ampere. After put in charge, we have to measure the charging current through amp meter. Now see here the battery charging current is 1.96 amp near to 2 ampere. Now we have to increase the charging current according to battery AH capacity. Like same process if we are going to charge the 28AH battery, we should apply the charging current of 1.8 amp to 1.96 amp and during charge of 70AH battery. We should apply the charging current of 4.2 amp to 4.9 ampere. If we put in charge of 100AH battery, the charging current should be 6 amp to 7 amp. If we put in charge of 150A H battery, the charging current should be 9 amp to 10.5 amp. If we put in charge of 200A H battery, the charging current should be 12 amp to 14 ampere. Now we are charging 10 numbers battery and we shall measure the total voltage of batteries. Here see how the battery charger charging the battery. We can measure the battery voltage by the help of multimeter. The voltage of battery bank is 135.3 volt and the voltage of single battery is 13.4 volt. Now we require more charging to gain actual charge of 13.20 volt to 13.80 volt. We measure the charging current by the help of amp meter. We put the positive terminal wire in the clamp. The charging current is showing 1.9 amp current near to 2 ampere. We can also adjust the charging current through the charger current adjuster knob. We are charging 45 amp battery. So the charging current should be 2.7 ampere. 
the charging current should be 6 to 7 percent of battery capacity it may be charging by charger and charging of single battery or battery bank we keep clean the surface of battery to avoid self resistance of the battery it is also require sufficient ventilation during the charging process the terminal connection should be tight and correct pole connection during the charging process the battery should keep distance from direct sun light and heat and also spark and fire keep distance the battery from water slash rain and dust if we have been keeping the battery in s t o r e percent to c it is necessary to charge the battery on regular interval of six months do not keep the battery on discharge condition if we store the battery on discharge condition the life of battery may decrease do not over tight the terminal when connect with any type of instrument to take any work don't put in charge different capacity and different make of battery in combined as it bears different charging criteria today we learn about the charging process of smf battery and we should be careful to follow the instruction which explained in this video training